welcome back to Beamer Light. I am back, you guys, with another word, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys because I just know God is moving, and God is so faithful. He is so faithful, you guys. So I wanted to come on here today and share with you guys. Keep pushing. Keep breaking through. Keep jumping over the molds of, you know, the barriers of what others said you couldn't do and by others i mean the enemy the lies of satan the 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 curses the generational curses you guys so many of us are transitioning transforming in the spiritual realm into being a new creation with god and oftentimes yes it's gonna feel uncomfortable yes it's gonna be uncomfortable should i say yes it's gonna feel like you are doing something different and i know in my personal life it it is starting to hit me slowly um why god does things and why god why god does things the way that he does and so let me just shut this window but um so i was just sitting here and i'm thinking about how god has to take you through a course to break generational curses off your back so oftentimes again he'll raise a joseph he'll raise a david he'll raise up an esther he'll raise up a abraham right in the family someone who's going to walk the walk and talk the talk um and someone that's going to soar and and they're they're going to do it with god and with faith and with even though opposition comes and tries to attack you god's faithful he's faithful to the one that walks the walk the faith walk um and so sometimes you got to push past the barriers you got to break through a breakthrough is not easy but it is worth it because you are breaking through to becoming a new creation right you're no longer that old identity that people saw you as labeled you as you are becoming a new creation meaning that god's with you god's got your back god is leading you and so i have a lot of joy sharing this because like i woke up and it I got this revelation where if you're in a place where you were called to move forward and move out of your hometown and move into the new away from like family and friends from what everybody else is doing god has a plan for your life jeremiah 29 11 it took me a while you know when you go through opposition that's not the first thing you think of the first thing you're thinking of wow this feels so uncomfortable but you got to get uncomfortable to walk in faith right and getting out of your comfort zone, what you're used to, the familiar things you're used to, no longer work for you. You got to try something new. And that is God. That is being with God. That is talking to God. It's all faith from here, you guys. I'm sharing my testimony today to share with you guys. Do not give up. Keep going. Keep going because on the other side of your breakthrough, my goodness, you are going to see something that is so radical, something that is so that you didn't even imagine, right? God says that he exceeds our expectations. God exceeds us abundantly, more than what we ask for. Yo, I feel the Holy Spirit. <laughs> that was my East Coast coming out. I feel the Holy Spirit. God's here. God is sharing this word with me, with you. Don't give up. Yes, you might have had to sleep in your car. Yes, you might have, might have had to crash from couch to couch. Yes, you might have had to live out of a hotel with you and your kids. Yes, you probably went through that divorce. But my goodness, God has a greater plan for you. God has a, a, a more fulfilling plan for you than what you could have put on your own. So when you were busy studying the word, going, going into prayer and going to small groups and fasting and worshiping as you're still doing today while people are still in the same place with the same drama doing the same things god is about to show up in your life he is faithful we have to understand and know god is faithful he will never give up on us so we got to keep going we don't give up on god neither so i pray this blesses you guys you're not going through what you're going through for absolutely no reason. There is a purpose behind it. The enemy doesn't want you to reach that level of what God has for you. He doesn't want you to walk in faith. He doesn't want you to speak the word of God and see how faithful God is in your life. So he's going to try to stop you. But God says, let no, nothing, nothing separate you from his love. God says that. So keep going. We don't walk with a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We walk in the knowledge, in the fruitfulness, in the glory of God. Do you know what that is? To walk in the glory of God? 
my goodness. I'm just so at awe in, of God today and I'm in joy in God today because we're breaking through. What I have to go through, what you have to go through is part of your purpose plan. Yes, it feels uncomfortable. Sometimes we don't understand it, but we just trust God. And when you trust God, God shows up. So I love you guys. I pray this blesses you. Please share this word with those that need to hear it to not give up. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. God bless you.